Three Rivers' Callie Hevelin is all that. A three-sport star, her athletic talent has led her to excel in all of it. All-State Honorable Mention, and Academic All-State in Volleyball, Academic All-State, and Second Team All-State in Basketball. But then there's Softball. She blew away the school records as a ninth and 10th grader. Runs scored, RBIs, home runs. When it comes to hitting, she owns it. Hevelin was a first team All-American as a sophomore. She will be again as Hevelin is now the single season home run leader in state history. 26 was the record, Callie hit 29. And she did it in a shortened season. And dig on this, her 66 career home runs in high school, six shy of the state record. And this, despite missing her entire junior season because of the COVID-19 shutdown. She'll be a three-time first-team All-Stater. She would have had four. She has a very strong case for state champs, total softball player of the year, and Miss Softball. She's academic All-State, too. Oh, and somehow, she found the time to earn state honors as a power lifter. So when summer rolls around, Kelly finally earned the right to kick back and relax. Am I right? That's not what I do. <laughs> so because softball is my main sport, I play travel softball. So as soon as high school is over in the beginning of June, I go straight down to wherever my tournament is at, where I'm a senior this year and I leave for college in August. And I have a graduation party, obviously. Everybody has them. And I have to do it the week I graduate because I'm gone every weekend from the starting of June to the beginning of August. So, and I'm home seven days in July. So there's really no time to relax, but. Hevelin also crushes it in the classroom. A 4.1 GPA and a member of the National Honor Society, her love of science and learning drives her. Like, I love the TV shows where like the doctors like investigating things because I like learning new things all the time. So, and especially in the medical field, in the health field, there's a lot of different ways that you can learn things. You're continuously learning things. And I like, like taking things, like dissecting things and looking at them. And, Stuff like that really interests me, and you gotta have a lot of math to be able to do that. You gotta know like this, how you gotta cut off this much to do this, and so those two things go well together. I think that science is the most fun to me because I learn new things all the time. <laughs> In softball, the recruiting process starts at a young age, sometimes as young as 13. So naturally, young, talented softballers start thinking about where they'd like to play. For Callie, she knew exactly where she envisioned playing in college, South Alabama is where she'll lace them up. When I had Kentucky and Alabama and Duke and all them looking at me, I was like, okay, like I had the opportunity to go down south. And now it's up to the school. And I ended up ultimately picking Alabama because they're obviously one of the top ranked softball schools in the country. And that was gonna be the ability for me to get better. Like I'm going here, there's best players in the country. This is where I'm gonna get the best competition. This is where I'm gonna grow. And to the point where it's like, this girl right here is ranked number three in the country. I'm not ranked number three, so I, how am I gonna try to outbeat her? Where if I would've went to Kentucky, I would've had the same situation, just not the different, it's different level, totally different level. So I picked Alabama because I felt as if it was gonna push me more and make me become a better athlete for the future. Callie has always believed in volunteering her time, whether it's helping elementary students or delivering turkeys to the less fortunate during the holidays. What really motivates her is playing role model for the next generation of student athletes looking at the little kids be like, oh, like she's coming here. Like that's the most heartwarming to me because that was me when I was younger, looking up to all these girls like, oh, I want to be like them. So having the opportunity to do little clinics with them or even going to their practices to help the coaches out, like that part of the giving back to the community is what I take the most heart into and what I feel like I benefit the most from. Callie wants a career in the medical field. While playing for the Crimson Tide, her goals are to take her degree into med school and her dream is personal. I chose pediatric oncology is because my little cousin used to have cancer and he had a really hard time battling that, had a lot of ups and downs like, oh, is he going to make it, is he not? So I was about nine years old, nine, ten, and I was like, how can I help him? Like, I don't want him to sit here and suffer, like, what do I do? But obviously there's nothing you can do. So like, I love helping others, so I think my dream is to go into that medical field because that is the one field that you have to, you help people the most. Even physical therapy, you're helping people get better. So I think my dream is to stay in kinesiology and that medical perspective so I can be able to help people become better. Callie Hevelin, congratulations on being a finalist for the 2021 DAC Foundation Female Athlete of the Year.